The issue of parliamentary privilege again up for debate in Parliament today as Works Minister the Honorable Desmond Bannister sought to clear the air on allegations of defamation raised by the former Education Minister Jerome Fitzgerald. Bannister not taking lightly the threat of legal action, he urged a former Marathon MP to act now. To Nanuel Ferguson reports. Minister of Works Desmond Bannister responding to comments made by the former Minister of Education Jerome Fitzgerald who last week in a statement said his character was defamed. Well in Parliament Wednesday Bannister said in fact that he feels that it was an attack on his parliamentary privilege. I deny defaming Mr. Fitzgerald. In any event I'm advised that one may only defame someone who has a good reputation. Notwithstanding this Mr. Speaker I note that in his quest for relevance, Mr. Fitzgerald has threatened to take legal action against me. In the same courts that he so unjustly and crudely insulted and vilified in this place, all the while himself relying on parliamentary privilege. In the House of Assembly last week, Bannister indicated that a company owned by Fitzgerald's father had received contracts by Bahamas Power and Light and suggested that the former minister had an interest in that company as well. Well, it's a claim Fitzgerald has denied. The Carmichael MP also referenced Fitzgerald's emails to Bahamas developer Sarkis Ismarillion. I remind Mr. Fitzgerald that the courts will wish to know why he used the pronoun we in his email to Mr. Ismarillion when he solicited business from a company, for a company that he now says he has no interest in. At that time, his refrain was we. Now it is not me. Mr. Speaker, I wish to announce publicly, publicly in this place. Now Bannister, who spoke on a point of privilege, said if Fitzgerald wishes to pursue a lawsuit against him, he will waive his parliamentary privilege only if Fitzgerald acts quickly and not withdraw the matter until judgment. The second undertaking is that Mr. Fitzgerald will agree to pay me any damages or costs that the court determines ought to be paid to me within 30 days of the judgment. I find this condition necessary, sir, because I'm reliably informed that in the year and a half since the Supreme Court issued its ruling against him, Mr. Fitzgerald has not paid the $150,000 fine. Meanwhile, the Angliston MP Glennis Hannah Martin charged that the quote attack on a former member should not be allowed. It has now translated into an, a, a further attack on someone who does not sit in this parliament. Speaker, Speaker, there's um, no point of order on my point of order. Sit down. Uh, 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 Speaker? Uh, 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 Speaker? No, I honorable think, member. Speaker. Honorable member. Yes, Mr. Speaker. The presiding officers in charge. That's what I was just trying to make the point earlier, Mr. Speaker. Now, Honorable Member, if I hear from you again in a disrespectful manner to this chair, I will name you and suspend you. Meanwhile, Bannister said he does not wish for the House to rule on the attack of its parliamentary privilege, and he says he now puts the ball in Fitzgerald's court to act. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.